So this first knot we're going to look at here is the uni knot. Okay, so as I said in the first video, this is a knot for connecting terminal tackle to the end of your leader. So this is for tying your mono or fluorocarbon leader um, onto a swivel or onto a, a hook or a cyst hook on the end of your leader. Okay, so I'll flip the camera around now and show you how I tie this. So I'm just going to tie this here first in, this is 100 pound mono. Uh, I'll show you this one then I'll show you a little trick for using it in a thicker line as well. So very simple, got a swivel here. Here's my leader through the swivel. That could be a hook as well. And basically all you do, give yourself a bit of line to work with, probably 15 centimeters enough. And the way I do it, we come up the line, no cross over there, just pinch there, come across. So all I've done there, I've got a loop. Okay, and the way I do it, I'm just gonna give myself a bit more line, I'll do it again. So pinch there, pinch again. Okay, and this is the loop I'm gonna be using. So now I'm gonna go through there on this line five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all I've done is twisted that through that loop five times. Really important you wet this one down, so. Bit of saliva and slip it down. Now when it gets to there, that's pretty neat. What I like to do before you really tighten it up is just pull that tag with your teeth. So I pull that tag up again and then I'll just tighten it down the last little bit. Okay, so you look at that, super neat, all those loops stacked on top of themselves. Okay, really good knot. I'll just clip that tag end off. Get my scissors here. Just leave yourself a little bit of a tag, but that ain't going anywhere. That's a five turn. Now, you can use it in my thicker line. I'm just gonna turn that saw around. So I'll leave that on there. And I'm gonna tie it here with 200 pound. All right, so you can see the difference in thickness, pretty much double the thickness. Okay, exactly the same process. So I'm going to do a, a, a three turn uni with this 200 and I'll show you a little trick to make sure it doesn't slip. So working line there, probably 20 centimeters. So they just pass it over, pinch there. There, look all I've done over the top there. There's my loop. That's the bit I'm working with. Here's my tank. One, two, three, and that's it. Okay, wet it down. Pull it up tight. That's the bit, it's not quite fully tight there. Just pull the tag with my teeth. Then I'll go again. Okay, now, that's, that ain't going anywhere. But what I do to make doubly sure, particularly if I'm on a, if I know there's huge fish around, I'll cut this tag Leave it a little bit longer. So we've probably got, I don't know, three or four mil there. Just shield all the rest of that line. And I'll just burn this tag here. Just melt the end. And then put a ball on it. Okay? So it does slip. And I've got to be honest, I've never had one slip. It won't actually pull through because when it hits that, it tightens up even more. That's just like a double insurance. So there we go. 100 pound on this side, that was five turns. 200 pound on this side, that was three turns. Okay, the uni knot, great knot for basically securing terminals to the end of your line.